Alrighty guys, welcome to my review of Black Ops 3. Uh, of course I'm going to be doing the campaign, no multiplayer, um, no zombies, things like that. Mainly just because I don't play them, um, just play these for the campaigns. For those wondering about Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2, I've played the first one. I have not finished the second one, uh, but you do not need to play those in order to play this one. It's set in the future, so that's kind of nice. Um, also, this was the first Call of Duty game, or Call of Duty Black Ops game, that took away the campaign for the old last-gen versions. So you might be wondering if the campaign was worth playing, or if it wasn't worth playing. Um, overall, if you just want a short and sweet answer, I think the campaign is okay. I think if you could find it for $10, it's good enough for that. Um, but I would not say it's a great campaign. I would not say it's amazing. I would not say it's even nearly as good as something like Advanced Warfare, for example. So if you wanted a short, sweet answer, that's that. But I do want to go into the details of the campaign. I want to talk about the story and stuff like that. Um, maybe a couple other things about the game. But yeah, so... Let's go ahead and get it started. Also, I'm recording this on my phone uh, on iMovie, so hopefully it comes out okay. And there's a thunderstorm in the background, so if you hear any funny noise, that's what that is. Um, I also have a couple other videos, first-person shooter videos. They're not going to be Call of Duty, um, but they're going to be other games I played recently. And that's what kind of inspired me to make this. It just These games were on my bucket list. I just hadn't finished them, just finished them in the last few weeks. So, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, I played it, of course, on the PS4. Um, I did do two playthroughs. I did an easy playthrough, like I always do, just to enjoy the uh, campaign and see what it's like. And then I usually do a veteran playthrough. Now, this one had a new realistic difficulty, which took place of the veteran difficulty. And for me, I just didn't feel like doing that. A, because it's co-op. So I figured they would adjust it for the difficulty because you'd have more than one person. So I figured it'd probably make it even harder. And to me, it's just not worth one gold trophy. When I can play it through um, on Hardened or Veteran and get the Silvers, um, that's why I skipped Veteran this time and just played Hardened. But normally I play Veteran. Um, I jump from Easy right into Veteran because, you know, I just want to. And I've done it for a lot of the Call of Duty games. Um, so that being said, that's what I've done on those. Um, this one, like I said, I'm just going to be talking about the campaign and overall the campaign, you get a pick between a male or female. Um, and I'm pretty sure I said this, but it doesn't relate to black ops one or two. It's set in the future, like the 2100s. So you don't need to play those in order to play this one, but you started out play as a male or female of course, I picked the female just to see what the campaign was like. Um, and some of the dialogue choices definitely make it sound like it's set up for a man. So there's like one where there's a female character in there. And they're like, this other guy who's your partner, he's a male. And he goes, oh, you just want to start a family with this girl. And it's like, huh? So, I mean, I guess if they're two females, they could adopt. But it's just the idea. It sounds more like it's written for a man. Um, but otherwise it, it didn't bother me. It was just like, huh? Okay then. <laughs> but otherwise, would I say the campaign is good? Not necessarily. If you can get it for $10, maybe, but otherwise I, I don't know if I would say I would go out of my way to get this one or, you know, play it or have to play it. It's more like, eh, if you want to play it, you're interested in playing Call of Duty campaigns I guess it's worth one playthrough. Uh, maybe just borrow it off a friend or something. But, yeah, to start it out with, you play as a guy or girl. You're an unnamed soldier, which is kind of weird. Normally you have a last name and you're called out by last name. Um, they make mention as to why they don't have that at the end, uh, which I will be discussing spoilers and characters and things like that. So, yeah. Um... They really do this whole Neuralink thing, which <laughs> I can see conspiracy theorists picking up on this and saying, look, see, the Elon Musk thing with Neuralink, look, it was even back in Black Ops 3. 
I, I don't know if they'd ever do that, but it just, it was very odd to see that, you know, I'm, I know they're not the first people to think of Neuralink, but it was just, wow. <laughs> it was just kind of interesting to see that. Um, various other stuff in the game. I mean, again, this is so far in the future. You have characters that are looked at as evil or turncoats, but they're not really. It's mainly because of this Neuralink thing. And then at the end, they like do this thing with the devil, which is kind of weird. They're like, yeah, the, the devil is controlling this, and, and this is why these people are turning evil. And I, I forget what his name was because it's been a few weeks since I played it, but it was just like, really? This is a thing in this game? Like, why? Um, then they have you go through this particular thing at the end, and, you know, these other characters that have been turncoats that were your squad mates, um, <laughs> then, then you end up sort of doing a turncoat thing at, at the end as well. One of the guys you're hunting down, his last name's Taylor, and they're always looking for Taylor. You're looking through Taylor for, like, 60% of the game. And then, like, the last chapter or so, then you have your partner who you've been with through, like, 80% of the game... He's the guy that turncoats on Taylor, kills him, and then you got to hunt him down, and then that's when you have this little epiphany thing, and yeah, you, you go through this Neuralink thing. And by the end, again, your character has no name, and then you open this door, and this guy's like, soldier, there's a war out there. What's your name? And your character goes, my name's Taylor. So it's a very throwaway story. It doesn't seem like they were intending to make sequels. It doesn't even intend like they really wanted to make a campaign here. They also do this thing with the this frozen forest, and they keep repeating it. They beat it into your head. It's not like they say it once or twice through the campaign. It's like they say it like multiple, multiple, multiple times. And I don't know if they were just trying to get a meme-worthy joke out of this but it really wasn't that good it was really kind of dumb I, I was like i didn't feel anything for this these lines of dialogue um it just it didn't make any sense to me i was like okay whatever it just seems like you wanted people to to talk about this you wanted people to write this in the comment section you wanted to see memes of it on facebook like that's that's what this felt like to me it didn't feel like there was any you know, good story writing and storytelling and things like that. Just, it didn't feel like it was very well crafted. It just felt like it was slapped together to throw on this game. And who knows? Maybe that's why it was only on the next gen versions. Maybe they just didn't feel like optimizing it for that. And like I said, I don't think you're missing much. Um, overall, the game is all right. I know a lot of people play this for zombies. I guess this is one of the best zombies games. And that's fine. I just don't particularly play zombies, so it's not really of interest to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Dead Ops Arcade was revised uh, in this from Black Ops 1, so it's actually pretty cool. But I just didn't play a whole lot of it. I played a little bit of it. but And the multiplayer, of course, I never really play. So that's really all I can say for Black Ops 3. I just kind of wanted to make this a little bit short and sweet. Um, you know, I didn't want to make this go on for 20 or 30 minutes. It just, it, it's a, it's a Call of Duty campaign. Like, how much more am I really going to say about it and things like that. So, overall, again, if you can pick it up for dirt cheap, fine. But, uh, otherwise, I would probably skip this one. If, if, if you'd missed it, you're not missing much. So, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.